everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! If you are confused kung anong acceleration, just think of a bike. A bike has three main parts. It has pedals to help you accelerate, brakes to stop the bike, and handlebar grip to change direction. Kung nakasakay na kayo ng bike, you probably know that a bike accelerates. Pero ano nga ba ang acceleration? In physics, acceleration is defined as the rate of change in velocity of a moving object per unit of time. We have three ways to change acceleration. Number one, by increasing its speed while traveling in a straight line. For example, this car shows acceleration because it increased its speed. Number two, by decreasing its speed while traveling in a straight line. On our first example, we showed acceleration by increasing its speed. But Acceleration is also seen when a car or any object decreases its speed while traveling. Ipinakita ng ating first two examples ang acceleration by either increasing or decreasing the speed. On number three, we can see acceleration by changing its direction even while traveling at a constant speed. For example, if this is your car, and you are initially traveling in a straight line, but you change direction, you are also showing acceleration. The faster the change in velocity, the greater is the acceleration. We can solve for the average acceleration by using this formula, change in velocity over elapsed time. Or you can write it this way, A equals change in V over t. Paano natin mahanap ang change in velocity? Easy. We just find the difference between the final velocity and the initial velocity. You can also write it this way. A equals V sub F minus V sub I over t. Kung saan ang V sub I ay ang initial velocity which is commonly zero but there are some problems na hindi zero ang initial velocity. So you have to be careful. In this formula, V sub F represents the final velocity and T is time. Makikita natin ang direct relationship ng acceleration and velocity in this animation. When the car starts running, it gains a constant acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. When it stops, it gains zero velocity and a negative acceleration. Let's answer a sample problem under acceleration. As a car comes to a stop, it slows from 25 meters per second in 2.8 seconds. Find the acceleration of the car. Anong inahanap natin? We are looking for the acceleration. Based on problem, the initial velocity is given, which is 25 meters per second. And the final velocity is 0 meter per second. Kasi nga, makikita natin sa problem that the car came to a stop. Tumigil ang sasakyan. Kaya 0 ang kanyang final velocity. The time is also given which is 2.8 seconds. Then we use the formula for acceleration. A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. We simply substitute the values. A equals 0 meter per second minus 25 meters per second over 2.8 seconds. What is 0 minus 25? We have negative 25 
meters per second divided by 2.8 seconds. Then we cancel the common units, we eliminate seconds and divide and we finally have the acceleration negative 8.93 meter meters per second squared. Baka nagtatanong kayo, ma'am bakit meron siyang negative sign? The negative sign indicates that the car slowed down or it decreased its speed, showing a negative acceleration. Before we have a quiz, let's have a quick recap first. In this video, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa acceleration, including the definition of acceleration, three ways for an object to accelerate, formula to find the acceleration, and we answered a sample problem. It's good time! We will be answering two problems to check kung may natutunan ba kayo sa ating topic about acceleration. Each problem will be answered in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Time's up! Let's answer number one. A car travels at 90 kilometers per hour. What is its acceleration in three hours if it started from rest? What are we looking for? Hinahanap natin ang acceleration. From the problem, we can see that the given values are the initial velocity, which is 0 km per hour kasi nga it started from rest, and we also have 90 km per hour, which is the final velocity, and time, which is 3 hours. To find the acceleration, we just use the formula A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. 
then we substitute the values. A equals 90 kilometers per hour minus 0 kilometer per hour divided by 3 hours. What is 90 minus 0? We have 90. Then we divide 90 kilometers per hour over 3 and we have the acceleration which is 30 kilometers per hour squared. Number 2. How long will it take a driver to bring a chimney traveling 50 meters per second to a complete stop if its acceleration is negative 0.500 meters per second squared? Sa problem, we are looking for how long will it take o ang time. The given values are 50 meters per second which is the initial velocity, 0 meter per second which is the final velocity. Bakit zero ang final velocity? Because in the problem, we can see that the jeepney needs to be brought to a complete stop. Kaya zero. The acceleration is also given, which is negative 0 0.500 meters per second squared. First, we need to know the formula to find the acceleration. It is A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. To find the time, we derive the formula from the formula to find the acceleration. Upon deriving, we now have the formula for time. T equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by A. Then, we substitute the values. T equals 0 meter per second minus 50 meters per second divided by negative 0 0.500 meter per second squared. Then we cancel out the common units, and we are left with time, which is 100 seconds. We want to know your score. Please comment your score over to in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!